Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing if we want to be smart with our personal finance, how should we approach life insurance as a financial product? And by the end of this video, we will get to know which kind of life insurance product you should go ahead with. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let us check out the literal meaning of the word insurance. So an insurance means an arrangement by which a company or the state undertakes to provide a guarantee of compensation for specified loss, damage, illness or death in return for payment of a specified premium. So in this case, since we are talking about life insurance, we are insuring the life of a person. Now there are two points which we need to keep in mind when it comes to life insurance. So number one is uh, its structure as per the definition of insurance which we just checked out. And number two is the objective of life insurance. So coming to the structure, what is the structure of a life insurance product? Against fixed payment, which is also known as premium, uh, made at regular intervals uh, to the life insurance company, it agrees to pay us a lump sum amount uh, upon the death of the policyholder. So that is the structure. Now what would be the objective for you when it comes to life insurance? Uh, your objective would be to get the maximum policy coverage amount against payment of the least amount of premiums. So that should be your objective or goal when it comes to choosing a life insurance product. Now when it comes to types of life insurance, to keep it simple and broad, there are majorly three types. So the number one is a term insurance plan and the second one is the endowment plans and the third types are is the ULIP which is a unit linked insurance plan. So to briefly define each type. A term plan is one wherein uh, a person gets to pay a fixed amount that is the premium for a specified period of time and if that person dies in that time then the insurance company will pay the coverage amount to the nominee of uh, that person. So the condition for payment of the coverage amount here is only if the person dies and that too he or she dies within the term of the policy. So moving on to an endowment plan. Uh, it's a plan wherein a person uh, keeps on paying premium for a fixed period of time, just like a term plan. But the only difference is uh, the condition for receiving the coverage amount here is not only the death of the person, but even if uh, he or she does not die towards till the end of the term, then also uh, he or she would receive the coverage amount. So let's say he again has taken endowment plan for 40 years and if she dies in that 40 years time, she will receive the coverage amount. But even if she does not die within that 40 years time, even then she will receive a lump sum amount at the end of 40 years. Now on paper and theoretically this looks great, but uh, I'll go ahead and tell why it isn't. And the number three is uh, the ULIP that is the unit linked insurance plan. So an ULIP is basically a type wherein it combines uh, insurance along with investment. So here also you get to pay a fixed premium for a uh, specified period of time like the other two plans but the premium that you're paying here a part of that uh, is utilized towards investment and that investment is done in debt and equity instruments and you get to choose where that investment is done. That is an option which uh, the uh, policy holder gets to decide and the remaining part of the premium is obviously utilized towards covering your life. Now the condition for receiving the coverage amount here is the same as that of an endowment plan that is if the person dies then he or she would be receiving the amount but even if they do not die till the end of the term plan they would be getting a lump sum amount. But there is a difference here uh, with regards to the coverage amount that you would be receiving. So the lump sum amount that you would be receiving here would be the higher of the following two. The sum assured that is the policy coverage amount or the fund value. Now what is the fund value here? Now since a part of your premium is getting invested in a debt or equity instrument, the fund value is the market value of that particular investment that has been done uh, till the time you have been paying your premium. So that comes into the picture here since this is a combination of investment along with insurance and the value of your investment will keep changing depending upon how the market performs. So that was ULIP, the third type. Now which out of these three uh, do I recommend and why? So remember the structure and the objective which I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So let's recap it once again. 
a structure of a life insurance product is a person is paying premiums and against those premiums in case the person dies the insurance company would uh, reimburse the uh, nominee of that policy holder with the coverage amount and the objective is you should get the maximum coverage amount against payment of the least amount of premiums so that was the structure and the objective now if you see these three types of life insurance products only the number one, that is the term plan, uh, fulfills both the structure and the objective. And that is the one which I recommend. In the second type, that is the endowment plan, the insurance company returns the policy amount at the end of the maturity period, even if the person does not die. And because of this particular point, the premium that you have to pay in case of an endowment plan is significantly more when compared to a term plan. Now, it's almost double because the insurance company has to return back a certain lump sum amount to the policy holder at the end of the term. And that is not the case with the term plan. So we can see in endowment plan, it defies both the structure and the objective of a life insurance as discussed. Now coming to ULIP, it's even worse because not only it, does it defy both the structure and the objective, but it attempts to combine two different product types, that is investment and insurance. And that's never a good idea. So if you want to invest, do that separately in mutual funds or equities or wherever you want. And if you want insurance, take a term plan. Do not attempt to combine both because that way you won't be able to reap the maximum benefit out of any of these two. So that is something which ULIP does and that is never a good idea. And that's the reason ULIP is the worst out of these three. Now you might think that uh, in a term plan, a person can, keeps on paying premium for a period of time and he or she does not get anything in return at the end if he or she does not die. So I'm just keeping on paying a certain amount of money to a company and I'm not getting anything in return. Yes, that's true, but then that is the very nature of insurance, uh, like we checked in the definition uh, in the beginning of this video. And even why are you expecting something in return against something you paid in a life insurance product? If you want something in return against something you're paying, that is the very nature of investment. Do that by investing in various asset classes like equity or mutual funds or crypto or startups or wherever you want. That is what investments are for. Do not do that in a life insurance product. You'll be much better off if you do that separately. So let me end with an example. Say person A who is 25 years old wants a life cover for rupees 5 crore for a term of 40 years and he pays a premium of around rupees 5000 per month. Now if the above was an endowment plan, the monthly premium would double to rupees 10,000. Now you would argue that so what, uh, in case of an endowment plan at least I am getting some amount on maturity. But you need to think of it this way, you go for a term plan and pay rupees 5000 per month. The additional 5k that you save every month, invest that in a mutual fund or equity. The amount that you would get after 40 years would be much higher than what you would get from an endowment plan. So that should be the methodology or the lens through which you should approach insurance or specifically life insurance in this case. So that was it for this video. If you feel you have gained some knowledge and if I have helped you in any way towards uh, selecting a life insurance product. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and drop a like and until the next video, take care, see you and bye bye.